Hi, how are you doing? This video, man, I, you know what? I suck at my production value, hold on. Cause, you know, I've seen people that have like, you know, they have theme music and then they have like their names and stuff and like a theme, man, a title and stuff, like a video before you actually start talking and here I'm just like, Durr. I'm still the emperor of the universe. Just because my production value sucks doesn't mean I don't love you and I don't have that same mojo, baby. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna talk about the divine feminine and the divine masculine and how those energies affect us and who we are. And I will also mention, as I said earlier, I am I am vibing in the high and the divine feminine. I have both within me, but I choose to nurture the feminine. As, and what happens ironically is my soulmate, whoever that is, they will probably run more in the masculine. Even if, even if it's because it's a, even though it's a woman, she will run in the masculine. She will be more ballsy. She'll be very you know aggressive, very forward. And uh, most of the women that I've dated, to be honest, most of my girlfriends were actually girlfriends, and we were were ones that like we were at parties or someplace, and they saw me, and they were like, "What the hell?" And they come up to me and start talking to me like, and they find out you're single. No, you're mine now. That kind of thing, and. As fortune would have it, you know, it usually turned out to be a really beautiful connection. It was just not meant to last, but but the divine feminine and divine masculine. <clears throat> like I said, the divine feminine, excuse me, is more nurturing, more loving, the caring, the motherly aspect of the energy. So it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't it doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman, you can still vibe in either one. Well, one either one will be more dominant regardless. And there's different aspects of that. I in my Cherokee heritage video, I talked also about how a lot of times shaman were were either effeminate men or very butchy women. I mean, the, basically they saw somebody that if you were a man and you were like very effeminate in the, in the native, what they would consider is that you embodied both the male and the female spirits the divine masculine and feminine which makes you uh touched by you know by the you know the you know father sky and mother earth and the, the spirit world you know what i mean you're and they usually end up being really cool shamans um there's there's <clears throat> there's history of that in um there's a one tribal leader back east that was part of the Mo mohicans or you know, Watkins or something, and his brother was uh, one of the um, was effeminate, but he was uh, one of the. That turned bad though. That was, man, we got the, us native my my native blood. We got the short end of that stick, didn't we? Anyway, long, uh, I'm digressing. A great movie I want to point out. It's called Switch. Um, Elizabeth Barkin, I think that's her name. Yeah, yeah. And there's that guy that was on Hill Street Blues. The I can't think of his name right now. Anyway, it's a great movie. It's very funny. It's about a, a guy who was basically a player, and he somehow got gets wakes up and he's a woman. I don't know how it worked. It's a movie, okay? So basically, this guy was a, just a player, and he wakes up and he's in a woman's body, and he's not happy about it. And it's Elizabeth Barkin, and she is so funny. That movie is so crazy. You have to watch that. It's a really beautiful movie. So I'm just going to, and it does kind of talk about the divine feminine. And you think about it because it's the divine masculine and the divine feminine's body. And she plays the part really well. She plays the, the, the butchy dude guy. It's funny. Watch the movie. Um, switch. You'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so divine masculine, divine feminine. I, I ramble a little bit. It's, it's, you know, it's my channel. I'm going to do what I want, babe. As long as the message gets out, right? As long as you understand what I'm trying to talk about. Like I said, I'm still learning all this. It's all new to me. It's all a process. I'm, you know, and as I learn something, I am, you know, I'm, you know, part it to you. I was just like, this is what's happening. This is what's going on in my world. And, and hopefully you'll, it'll resonate with you. And, you know, like I said, if you're running high vibration, you're watching this, you're digging the channel. And if you're low vibration, you probably think it's boring and stupid. Sorry to say. So that's just how it is. How do you know if you're low vibration? Well, you probably drink a lot because alcohol is a really, it's almost like an anchor to the low vibration existence on the 3D. Because they talk about the 5D and the 3D, it's raining really hard right now. 
You're talking about the 5D and the 3D, right? The 5D is the more high vibration thought process, the empathy, the, the clean living, the more clear thinking. And then you got the low vibration, the 3D, with it's all about fucking, fighting, or flighting, running, whatever, or drinking, basically. So it's kind of one of those kind of things. So you got to focus on the the higher vibration, and that's and it, you can you can be running low vibration, and say you know I'm tired of this low vibration crap, and you become high vibration. That's how usually how it works. People just get it just it, you weren't meant for that, and it shows by the it's almost like these two magnets just won't come together. And if you keep drinking and partying and hanging out with friends, and, and the outcome is the same, it's just you feel empty and left out. Then maybe that's not for you, babe. Try something new. Just a thought. That's my divine feminine, just out thinking about you. I want you to be happy, I love you. And yeah, I wanna give you a big mental hug right now. Hey, don't worry, you know. What do they call it, ass out? It's ass out hug. Anyways, I love you. God loves you and the universe loves you and they want you to understand, regardless of whether you're running in the divine feminine or the divine masculine, you also got to understand that you want to have a balance. You want to nurture both. You want to kick ass, but you also want to be able to give a hug, right? You want to be able to give a hug really good, but also if the situation calls for it, foot and ass, you know, that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to ride out the storm. It's crazy. I really hope you can see that. How about I do this real quick? Let's have some fun. We're going to open this up. Hell yeah. Woo. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Love and light, people. Have a wonderful day. It's kind of like the beginning of Dune, right? The old version. They're just crashing rocks on the waves. Look at that. That's sick. Okay, love you. Bye.